trying to understand whether Peloton is a, a microcosm of, of so many companies that have been focused on growth at all costs, TAM, uh, total addressable market rather than profits. Andrew, great to see you. And um, obviously the reset and tech, when I was on with you guys last week, we talked about it is the, you know, the valuations got way ahead of where people's businesses are. And I think what you're seeing now, and I think you see it in the Peloton results is people starting to get really real about their businesses. But I, I would say one thing, I think there's a chasm shift between, you know, are you worried about the bottom floor of the market or, you know, the top floor? And I, I think Peloton is actually a strong brand and the people who use Peloton you know, love it. I, I've known John Foley for years. I think they did an, an amazing business story. You know, the valuation story, obviously um, different, but I think investors are looking for a couple of things right now. One is a real focus on the results and how do you get to, you know, results without growth at all costs. And number two is I think they're looking for businesses to take actions against, you know, specifically those areas. I think what you saw from Dara at Uber and you're seeing across the market is people start to announce you know, the fact that they're going to be focused on the bottom line and focused on growing in a healthy way. And I think Peloton's probably the same thing. I think the difference with Peloton is them saying they're thinly, you know, capitalized is probably not what investors want to hear. But there's a lot of great businesses out there. There's a lot of great businesses on sale. You know, right now you can buy Amazon at 2018, you know, prices. Amazon's only gotten stronger since, you know, 2018. So I, I think you have to separate the businesses into different buckets. And as an investor, you know, even though you don't feel like buying now, you know, now you're getting to the zone where it's a great time to buy.